Uh, what can we do with this? This is neat. This is really neat. Oh, right. We can just use this as a jumping point, I guess. Oh, that was a big vibration in the controller just then. Oh? Amazing. What a great moment. What a fantastic moment. Although I did notice the fuel was running low and then I was like, uh oh. Oh no. Man, we only just got it. Oh god. Oh, we have water. Imagine that. Put those babies out. Choo choo. Wait, is the water... Can the water reach that far? That's quite a distance. I mean, let's give it our best shot. You piece of shit! It doesn't. It doesn't go that far. Huh. I mean, there are buttons here? Can I... Oh, no! That's... Oh, dear! That's instant death! How unfortunate. I feel like we do have to get that over there somehow. But it will not stretch further than that, and we can't... Huh. I'm missing something. What am I missing? What am I missing? I can't go to the right. We wouldn't need any of these, I don't think. I was thinking, like, maybe we could throw one of those massive explosive things in it, but I mean, I don't think that would help matters, really, would it? Uh... Huh. There's nothing else up top that I would need, I don't think. The only thing I can think of is putting the water in there, but the water doesn't reach, so what is the solution to that? Getting the car... Getting the source of the water closer... But there is a wall in the way. Out of curiosity, what happens if I just like... Huh? Absolutely nothing? Awesome. I don't know, man. I'm feeling stumped. What am I missing here? I'm missing something. It's probably something big. I'm probably being dumb. Can I just keep pushing? Is that the solution? Don't tell me the solution is just keep pushing. Maybe you can ram through with enough force. If we pull it back and get some speed up. Do we reckon that's the solution?
Here we go. Okay. Operation speed! Choo choo! All aboard! Next stop, pain! There we go. That was the solution. Okay. Making it harder than it needed to be there. Wait, nothing? Does it need to come from the side? Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. We got this. Wait, now I need to jump on those buttons, I guess. Let's give a little bit of fixing. Oh wait, it's not that that needs doing, it's the, uh, the sails. The sails! Boom, okay. What happens when I push these? Energy. Oh right, they need it needs fuel. Right, of course. Well, good thing we have this fucking horrible, terrible fuel source right here for your eating pleasure. I mean, hopefully that doesn't blow that up. But I feel like a ship this big can handle it, right? Right. Wait, no? Is that not enough? Do we need two of these in one? Huh? Is that going lower? Is it just me or is that going lower? Am I losing my mind? Is three enough? Like, I don't want to waste shit, you know? I don't think it's going lower. What am I missing there? <laughs> I'm missing something else. No! Well, you guys can come back in here then. What about this? Can this... Was this useful somehow? I'm not sure what that is. Oh. That just stops right there. <laughs> okay. Uh... So is that now going to go down fully? Is that like the energy source for that? get another one over here and bring it back. Is that the vibe I'm getting? Ah, I see. I see. Ha, huh, look at that. That mural in the background is kind of like the journey we've been on, right? Started out in the sea section, then the tornado section, and now in this section? Curious. What does this do? Are we moving? Are we moving and grooving? We're moving and grooving. However, we can't go, we can't move the car any farther forward because of this thing. Fuel 
level's almost out again. Oh shit! I did not mean to fall down here. Other cars? Other designs, I guess? Heave ho! Gotta use this to get back up there to get the winch to yank it up, I guess. I can't believe I've done this. I can't believe I just did the exact same thing that I already did. Whoa! What the fuck? I just sent it flying! <laughs> why is... Why? Why does it go flying so hard to the right and then I must slowly push it back left? You're kidding me. You're playing with my emotions. Come on. There we go. There we go. Now stay. Not sure. That was, that was interesting. Okay. Let's jump over this fucking gap this time, shall we? Like the smart people. There we go. Boink. God damn it. <laughs> Come back here, box. Perfect. Okay. Let's take this with us. Perfect. Okay. Okay. We got it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Yeah. I almost jumped right down there. That would have been embarrassing. Winch like your life depends on it. And then we will have used both energy things. And then I'm not sure what happens after that. Okay, <laughs> up and over. Whee! Splat. And I guess we've got to go push this button to make us go. Love a nice go button. Big red button. Could never resist a big red button. Okay, now we can actually go forward. It looks like the front of the ship can, like, come down as a ramp. So, I'm guessing we're going to be driving out the nose. Love to drive out the nose. One of my favourite things to do. Yeah, that was a little high speed. How are we doing on fuel? We're going, we're moving. I wish I could zoom out a little more. This is as far out as I can go. Moving and grooving.
Wait, that looks like a place to stop. Yup. All right. All righty. That was very cool. Did enjoy. Go, go, gadget, go. Where has this large beastie taken us? Full steam ahead. No, there's fuel there. No, stop, stop. No. Oh, you hate to see it. No. No, we went so far past it. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Okay, you know what? Baby steps, baby steps. Let's go bit by bit. God damn it. Like, we have used, like, almost all the fuel that we've come across so far. So I really do have to do this. Like, <laughs> we have a few boxes left. We've used basically everything that the game has provided us with. Last but not least, our explodey boy. Fuck. <laughs> sure. No, don't fall over. There we go. There we go. Nailed it. Never in doubt. Don't know why you people were doubting me. These haters, bro. They sure do be hating. <laughs> What's that rumbling? I don't know if I like that rumbling. I really, in fact, do not. Oh my goodness. No! Where am I? I don't see myself. Where am I? Well, that was disastrous. What the fuck? Is this the, is this the first cut we've had in the game? Oh, wait. No, it's not a... Oh, I failed. Oh! Oh! I see. I did not realize that that was a fail state. I thought that I... I thought that was just like what happens at that point. Is that shit explodes and you get fucked. But apparently not. So what did I do wrong there? Uh, you know what? It's because I had the camera zoomed out. I was holding uh, right trigger to zoom out a bit, just to capture the thing, and so I didn't, and I didn't let go until right at the end when the thing was already screwed. So I think what I was supposed to do there was be patching up as we went, but because I had the camera panned out, I wasn't realizing that shit needed patching, you know. So let's take two on that. I guess let's get. Oh, fuck. I missed the fuel again. You know what? Fuck the fuel. Who needs it anyway?
I may regret that later, but uh, it is what it is. Okay, I guess we're going to get this at the ready. Yeah, because I was like zoomed out to try and capture the scale of this, but... Shit needs fixing. It's very hard to see what's going on. Wait, is this another fail? I think that's another fail. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. It didn't, it like, I thought I was going to have to be putting out fires or something. But it only burst into flames as we failed, so. I'm missing something. Do I just need to not have the sails up? Is that what I'm, is that what I'm missing? Is that I'm not supposed to have the sails up? God damn it. I keep waking up in my bed behind all this shit. Maybe it's just that I have the sails up when I'm not supposed to. Huh. I am a little confused. I'm not finding this to be particularly clear. Gotta be honest. I mean, let's have the sails up. Now, nah oh fuck, the fuel, the fuel. No, I missed it. No! <laughs> How do I keep missing that fucking fuel? No! Truly, you hate to see it. Okay. Mountain go boom. Got it. Yep. We don't have to put the sails down yet. Or do we need to outrun it? Maybe we need to outrun it. Full steam ahead. You know what? I'm thinking that's the answer. Outrun that shit. Go, go, gadget, go. Go, go, refuel, go. I'm not confident anymore. I've changed my mind. It's too late now. We've committed to this course of action. Shit's on fire. Oh my god, what? Oh, that's not good. Wait, it's not a fail though. Oh, <laughs> I went to get... Uh, I can't repair this. <laughs> I have lost my valuable repair tool. What? My poor car! Is there anything I can do? I can't actually go any further left. What? Oh no. No, 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 no. Don't let the wind pick up and take you away from me. Are we just carrying on in this fucking bare bones? No! I kept all my fuel on the left! No! <laughs> no! Wait, wait, wait. The fuel injector was on the left. We cannot refuel. I was- I had a moment of no, I lost all my boxes because they were on the left. But we've also lost the mechanism with which we can put the boxes into the thing. Wait, shit. We can't even... Fuck. Is that... Is, is that GG's? That seems like GG's. Like, I thought it was gonna... I thought it was gonna still spin that wheel. But... That's looking like it's a rip. That's looking like it's a big, fat rip for uh, our friend the locomotive there.
Although saying that, I cannot get past this barrier, so uh, <laughs> let me change my mind. One second. Do we need to give it like a running start? Can I grab the winch and pull it further into the wind? Although the sails are looking a bit fucked as well. Have we lost a sail? There were... There's only two there, right? Or is that a third one in the middle? Maybe that's a third one in the middle. Uh, it's not liking that. Okay, that's not what you're meant to do, otherwise it wouldn't be breaking like that. Um... Shit, I don't know. Wait, how is this... How are the sails up, but this isn't pressed in? Oh... Oh, right. I didn't realize. Okay. Well, that makes a lot more sense. It was because they looked like they were up, even though they weren't. Can we just ride right over that? Okay, good. But we... What if the wind dies down? <laughs> if the wind dies down, we can't... Oh, this is broken now. You have to... Okay. <laughs> I let the entire game I thought you had to hold the wind the thing down to make the sail stay up and you didn't and now you do <laughs> Uh oh uh oh Oh it's a balancing act I see I see okay You've gotta let it rock back and forth so that it doesn't start doing that Let it catch the wind. Get some momentum going. Release. Wait, is this the beach? anyway. Oh. Signal? Signal fire? Is this a cry for help? Please come and save me from this hellish place where tornadoes, hailstorms and Volcano eruptions are an everyday occurrence. Is this the end? This feels like it's the end. This feels like it's going to be uh, where our journey comes to a close. My poor car! It made it 99% of the way through the game and then died with about three minutes left. <laughs> How unfortunate. You have served me very well, car. I'm a big fan of yours. Oh, the tide's coming in. <laughs> the tide is coming in. We have stranded ourselves. Well, not really. I'm sure we can swim that little distance. But uh, to the left of us was not underwater moments ago. God, this game is so pretty. <laughs> Is it going to leave it up to our imagination whether we end up getting rescued or not? Or is it going to give us a hint that we're going to be okay?
Oh, <laughs> I heard it. I heard a ship. And that's it. That was excellent. That was really, really good. Credits, I assume? Yeah. Created by Don Schmocker. Well done, Don Schmocker. You creatively led that to a very, very satisfying resolution. I wonder how big this studio is. I mean, I guess we'll see as the credits play out here. And the music. Oh, it was very nice music. As I said before, minimal soundtrack. Uh, not used in many places. But when it did get used, it was during more intense moments in some situations or the really calming vibes in others and it was just it always came in at the right moment and just made it feel great this was a very very nice experience i thoroughly enjoyed it very slow paced and probably too slow paced for some but uh for my mood at the moment how i'm feeling after playing just like shitloads of <laughs> big budget games and stuff this is uh a nice, a nice palette cleanser, I guess. This was just a very... What's the word? It's hard to sum up my feelings. <laughs> it's really hard. It feels like, it feels like they, they had an idea and they just went, yes, this is good. It's not the kind of thing that would get made by bigger studios. This is like a more passion project kind of thing, it felt like. And it just worked out. It was so good. I love the constant like maintenance of the the car it makes you feel like you know you care for this vehicle because it's how you're surviving you know it's how you're getting across this wasteland and uh yeah the the constant need for upkeep and repair and fuel and all that did feel like you were forming forming a bond between your character and the car i guess and replacing the wheels on it, and then it felt real. That was really sad at the end when it broke in half. My poor car. What did it do to deserve that? Nothing. It was a good car, and it got fucked over by the system. Fuck the system. <laughs> the system that led to the apocalypse, or however this has occurred. Honestly, with all the natural disasters and stuff going on in the game, it might have been like a natural apocalypse rather than a nuclear <laughs> kind of like... Hey, World War 3. Let me click my my nuke button. Oh, the war's over. We're all dead. <laughs> so maybe it was more of a natural disaster type apocalypse situation. But, uh, I wonder what all these people are getting special th thanks for. What did you do? <laughs> what What is... Uh, what is the thanks being given for? But yeah, no, honestly... I would give that like a solid 9 out of 10. I would say it's just shy of a 10 just because there were a couple of moments like in that climactic uh, climactic volcano moment where it wasn't clear to me how I was supposed to beat it. And I feel like that would have had an even bigger impact if I'd first tried it. I feel like there are a lot of there are a lot of times in games where like if you first try something it feels fucking great. And then if you don't then the impact is lessened somewhat on repeat attempts. And I do feel like that was maybe slightly the case there, because I wasn't even sure if I'd beaten it the time that I had beaten it. Uh, so that was unfortunate. So, and there were a couple of points like that where I was a little unsure what to do. Lot, but by and large, like it was, it was very good at telegraphing what uh, what was what needed doing. But uh, yeah, I'd say a very a strong nine out of ten with just a couple of nitpicks here and there. Okomotive, well done, well in. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't think I'd ever heard of your studio before, but I've certainly heard of them now. I will certainly be on the lookout for what you are doing next. <laughs> Mr. Wales Game Service. Nice. I doubt this is going to be a post credit scene kind of game, but I guess let's have a look. I imagine it will just take us back to the title screen. Thank you for playing Farlone Sales. Thank you for making it. Is this a click the button? No, this is not a click the button to continue situation. Oh, it is a loading situation though. And back to the title screen. Brilliant stuff. Awesome. I loved it. 
Hope you enjoyed it too. If you did, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And if you really like what I do, there is a Patreon link in the description. Anything you could afford to send my way would be hugely helpful with the ongoing running of the channel and the buying of the games. All that jazz, you know how it is. So thank you very much for that. And I will see you somewhere else for something new. Thanks for watching. See you then.